I thought I would jump on here quickly and talk about five things I'm currently obsessed with. Some new, some existing, all absolutely brilliant. I'm going to start, not surprisingly, with this. <laughs> La Roche-Posay have a serum version of their cult iconic Bone B5. That's the reparative balm that is loaded with ceramides and panthenol, emollients, humectants. It's just an absolute gold standard. I've just come back from the American Academy of Dermatology. Most dermatologists love it. I love it, but I don't really like the texture of it. It's quite a rich cream. You know I love a serum though. When they create it as a serum version, it was love at first sight. I have flown with it. I've used it since I got back. I'm using it right up and around my eyes. It sits beautifully under makeup. It's flawless. Go and check it out. It might just be my favourite hydrating serum of all time. I love it. More skincare. Aven have recently reformulated all of their cleansers. Aven is a range specifically for sensitive skin. I've genuinely loved the range for a long time and I've fallen for this and who thought I would fall for this because this is a micellar gel. This is a relatively new technology. Uh, Rosine have one which I know my mate Ruth Crilly absolutely loves. This is genuinely micellar technology but in a gel base. If I put a little bit on the back of my hand you can see it slowly run down. It's a runny gel so you apply it to your face, gently massage in, right right up and around your eyes. And then I use a microfiber cloth that a flannel would do or a muslin cloth to rinse it clear away. It does genuinely get rid of all of your makeup. But the advantage is you don't have to use single use cotton wool or tissues or anything like that. You see, it's that beautiful sort of gel technology. It turns into a mild foam, but a mild foam as you rinse it away. You can either use it as a first step if you wear a lot of makeup, a lot of eye makeup. I actually used it as a single step. It was enough step. It was enough to get rid of all of my makeup. Or you can use it a first step and then maybe use a balm or a cream afterwards. Really, really, really love it. Watch out for more micellar gelades coming your way soon. Now, final piece of skincare that I relied on a lot recently is this, and this is Neostrata. I love Neostrata. It's a beautiful range. They basically developed uh, polyhydroxy acids, and this is a blend of polyhydroxy acids. This is the Restore Bionic Face Cream, and it is 12% polyhydroxy acids. Now, Two things. One, I love it. It's super rich, very, very, very unguent, which is great for my skin because I've just come off of a long flight. Uh, but it doesn't sit well under makeup. I don't really get the use of acids during the day because I found by the end of the day yesterday, my makeup was starting to peel off. Not really surprising, seeing as the polyhydroxy acids had got to work and it started to shed my dead skin cells. Let's be honest. Super rich, beautiful. I technically would use it at night. So if you've got a skin that is grey, dull, slightly occluded, slightly kind of congested, just for me it was perfect post-flight, it really was. A 12% polyhydroxy acid would gently exfoliate your skin while you sleep. You can get up, cleanse it off, then maybe use a nice hydrating serum. All of your skincare the next day will go in much more easily. It is recommended for daytime use, but I don't think it sits that well under makeup. I don't think generally acid-based skincare sits under makeup. I know a lot of people love it. For me, it doesn't work. Then I've got two, technically three pieces of makeup, which makes it Fab 6 rather than Fab 5. My brilliant makeup artist, Jane, at This Morning, posted this to me. This, and I can't believe I missed it. This is Air Volume, and it's the new L'Oreal Mascara. Now, here's the thing, okay? You open it up, and it's got a whacking great big sexy overloaded brush and you think right this is going to be stripper va va boom lashes straight away in a single coat but it's not one i i've got two coats on here it's quite subtle it's quite light how anybody can create a brush that is that chunky with that much mascara on it and not have a single clog and i think that's why jane loves it because obviously what happens is you, when you make up your face, when you, you have your face made up by a makeup artist, technically they're not allowed to use reusable mascaras on you because there is a risk, obviously, of, of transferring infections and stuff like that. So they tend to either give you a little spoolie. But she basically said, oh, my God, go and buy this. Bring this in. You can finish your makeup off with this. She doesn't really like over-the-top mascaras. It's so clever. It It's not the brush. It's not the little sort of faux, looks like a balloon air packaging. It's solid, by the way. It's not a balloon. Um, it must be the juice. It's very, very, very clever. I have used it for about three days now. I've got two coats on today. Not a single clog. 
that's pretty much unheard of, right? You have to go in, you know, maybe move lashes around. They stick together. It's so clever. Absolutely brilliant. Last night I had supper with Monica Blunder and she said to me, you have uh, lash extensions in, don't you? I didn't. I just had L'Oreal Air Volume on. Thank you, Jane, for sending that to me. I'm going to end with an expensive one and I apologise for this because most of the things have been fairly relatively reasonably priced in this little video. I have fallen hard. And I mean hard for Hermes lipsticks. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. I'm just going to wipe that gel off the back of my hand. That's the micellar gel. It's so beautiful. I've got no lipstick on at the moment. I'm going to show you how gorgeous it is. Mildly fragrance, but not, not in an unpleasant way at all. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm going to grab my One Powder Wonder. Obviously, never without that from Beauty Pie. Beautifully pigmented, gently moisturising, just a hint of a sheen, the most beautiful colour. It comes in the most beautiful shades. I did not want to fall hard for this. I did not want to fall hard for an expensive lipstick. Basically, my lips on their best day. I was introduced to them first by um, a friend of mine called Alexis, who chose this colour for me because she has exactly the same colouring as me, and I love it. And then I went on counter at Selfridges with beautiful Joe Good, and she was like, I love these. She hadn't even tried them, and she loved them. She, she falls hard for the packaging. It's that expensive, oh, magnetic click. It's absolutely beautiful. This colour, by the way, is, let's have a look. So this is the Rouge Hermes and this colour is Satine Beige Automatique 12507. Heaven, 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 heaven. If you have a birthday coming up, if you want to treat yourself, it's a little slice of perfection. It really is. And just for everybody asking, I have fallen back in love with a neutral eyeshadow. For ages, I've been using bricky, warm shades inspired by Lisa Barlow. That will mean nothing to you unless you're a real housewife of Salt Lake City fan. So basically, basically Lisa Barlow is one of the um, housewives in it. And she always has exactly the same makeup every single day, even in the evening. I love that. I love somebody that rises above makeup trends and just knows her style and groove. And she wears an eyeshadow really similar to this. This is Bobbi Brown and it is an eyeshadow called Blonde. And it is perfection absolute nude matte perfection and all I do is I use it to hook back that hood see that hood there so basically I use a real techniques brush I go sweepy back and forth sweepy back and forth just in there and it gives the illusion of a shadow to knock back a, a heavy eyelid love it and by the way obviously I blend with my beauty pie one powder wonder and then that amazing, amazing brush, that's the Hourglass. I think it's the under eye concealer brush and it's just shaped to go all in there. So this powder is so light that you can basically blend with it and even go right up and around the eyes to set your concealer. Now I am a 60 year old woman with crepey skin and smile lines. Still, that does not sit in my lines and crepey skin. There you go. Things I'm currently obsessed with was supposed to be five, might be seven. There you go. <laughs> Extra value for money. I'll put all of the details of all the products down below.